I've been adventure touring non-stop since 1982 and have ridden extensively through more than a hundred countries. In 1988, I traveled overland from Colombia to Panama through the infamous Darien Gap. I've written one book, speak four languages and spend five to six months a year riding the world. I'm Helge Pedersen and this is my sidecar rig. Hi, I'm Helge and this is Big Red, the sidecar I've been riding now for the last year. And if you stick around, I will teach you a little more about the sidecar adventure riding. And we're even going to go and visit the workshop that designed and created Big Red. The first time I saw a sidecar that I really want to ride was in Norway during the Crystal Rally. I think it was in the early 80s. It was like minus 30 degrees and I was just hanging on for my bare life on my R80 GS BMW. And here comes this guy passing me with a sidecar just sliding around the corner. I said, oh, I have to try that. And I did. I tried it. It was crazy. I slide all over the place, but it was really fun. I run a company called Globe Riders and we do tours all over the world. Some of my clients been riding sidecars. I've been looking at it and it looked like, wow, that's a lot of work and stuff. But I tell you, I knew that one day I have to try this. The biggest attraction for me is the way to get in connection with people. It really have opened my eyes and opened the world in a way when you come with that sidecar. You know, as a motorcyclist, people normally say hello, but not everybody. On a sidecar, everybody. It's something romantic, I think, with the sidecar that people associate with it. So I knew I wanted a sidecar, and I kind of knew what sidecar I wanted. I wanted a box of BMW. I tried the Ural, I've seen the Ural. I've actually been to the Ural factory in Erbit in Russia. Great bike in their own ways, but not for me. It's too slow, too many mechanical problems. And I wanted something that had the horsepower and the speed that I like to go at. I've seen the other guys, they were always struggling with the power and they're wearing out the clutch, the dry clutch. These new water-cooled BMWs have wet clutch, that was very good. It has 125 horsepower, people say overkill. Well, you throw a big uh, tub on the side, you need all the help you can. You have cruise control, stupid things like that, but it really, it's nice. So I have a personal rule. I have a limit of two bikes in my garage. I don't need more than two bikes. I do tours all over the world. One is always gone in a container or when I'm out riding it and the other one sit at home waiting for me. Then I decided I was going to have a sidecar bike. So one of the bikes became a sidecar bike. I was excited to find out that one of the best sidecar builders in the country is just a couple of hours a ride away from home. So one thing that really intrigued me with the DMC sidecar was the setup here. So Jay, can you tell a little about how that works? Well, this is our electric trim. And what it does is it raises or lowers the upper shock pickup point, which raises or lowers the sidecar suspension to trim for load and road conditions, which will lower your steering effort and, and help you maintain a straight line. Just the press of the button and I could straighten myself up. And I did this, I, I don't know, hundreds of times during the day. It's just like trim tabs to a boat or an airplane. Yeah, yeah. So what's interesting about this bike? These wheels are interchangeable. Yeah, all three wheels on this motorcycle interchange were actually running an original rear wheel on the front, which involved building a custom hub that you bolt the wheel on, then you bolt five spacers that pass through the wheel, then you bolt an adapter on, then you bolt on a pair of Ducati brake rotors, then you bolt an adapter on, then you bolt the ABS tone ring on, then you put it all together with a longer axle, which sounds like a lot of work, and it, it is, but it certainly beats walking when you get a flat tire. 
We've got an automotive wheel on the back, which is done with an adapter that can be taken off so the original wheel will still go on. And in the case of the sidecar, he's currently running a BMW wheel, but our hub also has a bolt pattern on it that allows you to put an automotive wheel on it. So while he has an automotive wheel on the back of the bike, that could have easily been put on the sidecar as well. And this allows you to carry one spare that'll fit all three positions, or if you notice the tread's getting a little thin on one of the tires, the sidecar tire is just more or less along for the ride and sometimes it's been known to dry rot before you ever wear it out. In order to ride a sidecar bike here in Washington State, you have to have an endorsement. So I went to a two days course and I think it was the best investment of time and money that I ever did. The sidecar bike is a completely different animal from a solo bike. A two-wheeled, single-track motorcycle could be steered entirely by just shifting your body weight, without any input from your hands or from your arms. A sidecar-equipped motorcycle cannot be leaned the same way. All the steering force needs to come from your arms and upper body. So on a sidecar, if you want to steer to the right, you turn the handlebar to the right just like a car, but you also throw your body over. The centrifugal force wants you to go off the road, want to go straight, but you are working against that. To compensate, you lean to the right with your body. The faster you go, the more you need to lean, the more weight you need over to this side. If you have a person sitting here and you have more weight, the less you need to lean. So if you don't have enough weight over the sidecar, you might end up just flipping over. The sidecar wheel will go up in the air and you might flip over. It's probably the most trickiest part with a sidecar is the right turn because it has a tendency to lift up the sidecar. Making a left-hand turn for a sidecar rider is much easier than going to the right. When you're turning to the left, you turn the handlebar to the left. You also put your weight over to the left side but it's not as critical as if you were turning to the right because you have the sidecar wheel keeping you steady and it takes very much to flip over the bike while doing a left-hand turn. And if the sidecar is on the wrong uh, left side of the bike, everything is in reverse. What can I say? After a long day on the road and especially on uh, curvy roads, all day you're sitting like this, working it and you feel it. It's a workout. So I just got my endorsement. I got this beautiful new bike and I was gonna to go to South America. I was a little nervous in the beginning, but I made it all the way 8,000 miles to Tierra del Fuego and I'm really glad I did. We were going on good roads, bad roads. We were sea level up to 14,000 feet. I think we did like seven or eight countries from Colombia to Argentina. We encountered all kinds of weather. We had snow. We had blistering hot weather, roads that was incredibly difficult. We got a lot of wind at parts. It was what you expect in an adventure. An adventure is not supposed to be an easy thing. And doing it by a sidecar, I saw that it was quite different adventure because I had three wheels. I was stable. When the other guys were fumbling around in the snow, I could take pictures of them and have fun with it. You know, I was not going to fall down. But it was also a challenge on the switchback in Colombia, like thousand switchbacks, really hard. I got strong after that trip for sure. This last year riding the sidecar has really opened my eyes to new adventures. I was very nervous in the beginning, but when I got the hang of it, it's really fun. I will still ride my solo bike for the majority of my travels. It's much more flexible than the sidecar, and that's my main tool for my trade. It's a big commitment getting a sidecar. Economically, space in the garage. But, so do your homework. Try it out if you have the chance before you commit, perhaps. I don't regret it a bit. 
for this last year I had a lot of fun and I know I'm going to have more fun into the future riding the world on three wheels. Just give it a try. It's not going to hurt, hopefully. Ha, 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 ha,